but we do have we have it's this is not this is saying lord as you supply i want to give to this because we want what we want to do is we want to be able to bring all the other people that don't want to sit outside into this 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 arena arena rather and we want to be able to worship together so we've got something going on we have a project and with that that's this and then in this treasure box right here this is take the land we're not going to do it take several different offerings anymore if you have your take the land offering bring it and put it in the treasure box and then pick up one of these right here and then say lord by faith i'm going to do this and i'm going to hand this in so we can further the kingdom of god amen now for all of you wild ones come on now all you the, the, the adventurous ones it's offering time bring it down and rejoice come on now rejoice rejoice Up, you all gave this, all right? So I want you to keep your eyes wide open, point your hand toward this direction, and thank God for his blessings. Father, we bless you this day. We honor you for your faithfulness to all of us. Lord, we love you because you first loved us. And we bring it cheerfully, Lord, and we ask that this would be pressed down, shaken together, and running over, Lord, that we would need barrels, oh God, to get what it is that you're giving us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let this be blessed broken and let it multiply father in the name of jesus we thank you for the many blessings lord and the church said amen Amen. Amen. I guess it's my turn. <laughs> it's okay. We actually have um, just as a gift this morning to you, to me, to the Lord, to Pastor Hopi. Um, I'm so glad to have her back. When she says she's in restoration, understand God sent her like a missionary into her family. And it's been quite the adventure, and it's been a sacrifice on our parts as a church. But, you know, as much as we send other missionaries out, we sent her out. So I'm looking for Jared and Nick. Hallelujah. If someone can. They're coming. Okay. This morning, to just make this declaration over your lives. And, you know, God bless you all. I see you all, we, we're talking about adding some more chairs up here. This is what we're dealing with. And thank you for being faithful in the house of the Lord, even when you're crowded. Um, and uh, next Sunday will be, it, we have a progressive move. There are several things that are happening. Next Sunday uh, will be the first Sunday in our new children's church. They'll be making their transition next Sunday. We're excited. Uh, they're going to have a pizza party. And we'll have opportunity for you to be able to look at it and see all that's happened. But the, church, the children, Kids Praise is 95% done. And uh, so we are, we'll be able to uh, usher in next Sunday morning as the first step in our process. I, I know you didn't have coffee this morning, if, but uh, that's because the cafe, the Epic Cafe is being renovated and uh, it's going to be, we're excited about everything that's going on. Amen. It's good to be growing and to be in the midst of that growth. Amen. So God bless you all. Happy Valentine's Day. We want
want to speak life over you today. Every person listening, I want you to understand that no matter where you've been or where you might currently find yourself, it's not over. When God is in it, there is no limit. New breeze. It's not over. It's not finished. It's not ending. It's only the beginning. It's only the beginning. When God is in it, all things are new. All things are some friends along to just encourage you a little further. James Fortune. This is for someone right now. I know it's darkness. Yes. Just before dawn. It's not easy right now. This might be the hardest mm. season you experience. I've been there. It hurts. But it won't last. Won't be too long. Won't be too because long. Because you are. Closer than you think you are. You may not see it yet. Come on, Israel. Oh, 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 look to the sky. Help is on the See, way. It's not over. It's not, over. It's not finished. It's not the end yet. Your story's not over. This is only. It's only the beginning. He makes all the difference. He makes it. He makes all things new. Yes. With God. All things are new. All things are new. In the spirit, I sense something starting to move. Something is moving. Everything is turning around.
Hallelujah. It is not over. I said it's not over. I don't know. That looks good. Thank you. Got it just right. Thank you. I'm telling you, it's not over. We do win. Yes, we do win. Amen. Actually, we've already won. That's the deal. We've already won. <laughs> it's not over. You need to speak to something in your life right now and say, it's not over. No, it's not over. Amen. You know, it's one of the, the, the enemy's most favorite tactics, really, is, is to, uh, uh, to, deal, to deal with us in a way that we lose our focus. And in the losing of our focus, we, we, we lose our place in God, our place in faith, and our, our place in hope. And if he can get us there, he's got us. You know, sometimes the only thing you can say is, it's just not over. I mean, I know, I see all that, but it's not over. See, sometimes that's the only statement of faith you have, but it's a powerful statement of faith. I, I can't explain all this, but it's not over. I, I don't know what to do about what happened, but it's not over. Amen? It's not over. The doctor can't give you a diagnosis that can take away your future. Now listen to me, because it's not over. This week, Cindy Sexton, one of our new members, had to have surgery over an old deal, you know, cancer from years back and they tried to tell her it was all uh, spread and all this kind of stuff.